Hi, it's Miss Collins, and I just want to tell you a bit about GCSE history, so you can think about if it's something you might want to take at GCSE, and if it's something that might benefit you to have studied it. So why take GCSE history? The, the big answer to that question is that it will help you understand how the world you live in was shaped, and to make you consider today's society in a different way. There's a historical argument that's very strong that you can't know where you're going until you know where you've been. So understanding the past and understanding how we got to where we are hopefully helps us make better decisions in the future. Another reason why you might take GCSE history is that employers and universities regard history qualifications very highly. It's not just the content of the course you learn, it's the skills you develop as part of that course. And Skills are very, very important, and they help us to tackle a whole range of different activities, jobs, projects, whatever it might be that you're doing. Research skills can be very useful, being able to research in an organised way. Our ability to communicate and writing skills, to get our point across in a way that makes sense. To construct an argument, a key skill of history, to be able to convince people or persuade problem solving, how to select evidence, being able to build up that argument and I'll also argue the other side of the um, point as well. The ability to question how reliable and how valid information is, it's an, a very important, especially in the days when we use so much of the internet and being able to think, does this sound true? How can I confirm it? How do I go about doing that? how to organise information into a way that makes sense to those around us, and how to handle and analyse data and evidence so that it makes sense when we look at it. What I wanted to do here was just to put together some combinations of different subjects so you could see just a few examples of where these subjects might lead, and hopefully Stop people thinking that if you study history, you become a history teacher. Most people that you study history are not history teachers. So there's some ideas there that you might find a little bit surprising. But they are by no means all of the things that you can do with history. They are countless. So what will you actually be studying as part of GCSE history? Well, you'll be studying the UK. 1951 to 1979, so Britain after the Second World War, which is a period of huge change. The 1950s, the 1960s and 1970s are times of great change in our culture, in our society, in our music, in our entertainment, in our fashion, all of these things and the different influences that came into Britain at that time. We also look at Wales in particular and what happened to Welsh people during this time in history. We also study the second unit, which is the USA, between 1910 and 1929, so when America was just becoming this great world power. We look at things like prohibition, the rise of gangsters such as Al Capone, we look at um, entertainments, fashions, we look at the economy, we look at how society changed and big ideas like um, should people be taught evolution as, alongside creation and so on. We also look at changes in health and medicine. So we go from the time of the Black Death right up to the present day, thinking about um, what has changed in people's lives in Britain during that time. So we look at things like the Black Death the epidemics and pandemics that the world has seen. We look at how the treatment of disease has changed. On this slide, there's a picture of Edward Jenner giving um, the smallpox vaccine. And the vaccine debate that happened in the 18th century still going on today. So we look at all of these things and help build our understanding of the country and attitudes. We also do a piece of um, coursework which is always on world war, so looking at Britain in events in world war, so it might be world war one, world war two, but looking at the role of Britain in a piece of coursework. There are three exams as part of 
history GCSE. They're all quite short of an hour and the coursework forms its own unit. So there's no examination in the coursework unit. Finally, why study GCSE history? There's a sheet there that takes you through it, summarises the information and has some quotes on it from different sources. Um, and you can see the source on this if you wanted to check it out. But also, just think about it's if you're interested in history, if you love the study of the past, if you want to develop good and wide ranging skills, then history might be the subject for you. If you have any questions, obviously, you can ask your history teacher, you can ask me, Miss Collins, you can email me at my school email address if you have a question. Or you can speak to other people who've taken the subject. I would always advise that. And thinking about, is it something that you would like to do? Thank you. I look forward to chatting to you in school. Bye.